So you are lucky enough to visit St. Lucia and of course you want to share your experiences while you're in St. Lucia. Women which provider, too expensive. International SIM cards, there are a few good ones but a lot of them expensive. So what is the good option? Getting a local SIM card, that's why. And in this video I will tell you everything you need to know about SIM cards in St. Lucia so that you can share your amazing experiences in St. Lucia. So let's just get started, shall we? Hi. It's Odo from Photovis here and today we will be talking about SIM cards in St. Lucia. Here we have two operators, Flow and DSL, which are active in almost all Caribbean countries. You may be enjoying nature in St. Lucia, you may be hiking there and of course you want to share amazing photos and your stories online. So you need a good SIM card to do that, so you're looking for one that offers relatively affordable prices and good coverage and good speeds. Well, luckily for you, both DigiCell and Flow St. Lucia do a good job in St. Lucia. But which one is the best? Which one should you avoid at all? Or are they both, well, good? Well, I will tell you all about it in this video. And just a quick note, in St. Lucia, they use the East Caribbean dollar, which has the symbol XCD. And it is packed to the US dollar, meaning that 2.70 XCD is one USD. But I will just keep using the official currency because, well, not everybody around the world uses the USD. So when I say XCD, I'm just referring to East Caribbean dollar. So let's get started and let's start with Digicel St. Lucia. Digicel entered St. Lucia in 2003 to end the monopoly of Flow. And it is quite a trend that Flow was the first operator in most Caribbean nations. Back then, they were known as Slime and Cable and Wireless. And and they rebranded multiple times, but now Digicel St. Lucia became the larger or more popular operator in the country. In fact, they have a market share of more than 70%, so that tells you that Digicel is, you know, quite a good option, but we don't know yet, but you know, keep that in mind already. You can get the Digicel SIM card for 25 XCD and it's sold in Digicel stores all over the country, so don't worry about that. The same count for top-up vouchers, widely available, and you can also top up online with the credit card or debit card so yeah you don't really have to go to a store to top up but when you buy your sim card you might want to get a plan there because well you're already there anyway so why not digicel has freedom plus bundles which are the combo plans that come with data minutes and sms and you have these options six xcd one gigabyte of data 50 on net minutes for one day and if you're wondering well, what is on net and what is off net an on net minute or on net call would be a digicel to digicel call in st lucia of course but if you would call to Digicel Flow, no not Digicel Flow, if we call to Flow St. Lucia, that will be considered an off-net call. So in this case, the 50 minutes you get, it's only for calling to other Digicel numbers for free. If you would call to a Flow number, then it will be an off-net number, of, well, off-net call, and then you'll be charged different rates. So keep that in mind. 13 XCD, one gigabyte of data, 250 on net minutes for three days. 20 XCD, 1.5 gigabytes of data, 300 on net minutes for five days. 26.50 XCD, 3 GB of data and 250 local minutes for 7 days. So in this case you can use your 250 minutes for both digital numbers and flow numbers. And 95 XCD, 10 GB of data and 1000 local minutes for 30 days. Now it's time to talk about Flow St. Lucia, which used to hold a monopoly, but since Digital entered the market, they actually lost their monopoly status of course because that's another operator, but they also lost the popularity status because now they have a market of less than 30% and they are the least popular operator in St. Lucia. But they do have the faster speeds, they use LTA and for this video it does really matter how the technology works. What you do need to know is that you can get speeds up to 200 megabits per second when downloading which is insanely fast. But of course that's not all the time, that depends on you know the ideal conditions. But those are super fast speeds and in general flow is faster than these. So keep that in mind if you really care about speeds. And in St. Lucia you can get a flow SIM card for free. Yes, for nada, nothing. They just give it away for free like it's candy. Well, maybe <laughs> not everybody gives candy away for free. But do keep in mind that if you get your flow SIM card, they do expect you to at least top up when you're there or buy a uh, plan. So keep that in mind, but you don't have to pay anything. Sure, the sell SIM card is not super expensive, but you know, if you can get something for free, but why not? It's for free anyway. Top up vouchers, just like with Digicel, they are widely available and you can top up online as well if you want to with a credit card or a debit card. And with the pre paid bundles of Flow, they come with unlimited social media and these social media apps are WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I'm missing one, Snapchat. Yes, those five apps. 
So when I mentioned the plans later, it's those allowances plus unlimited social media for those five apps. So keep that in mind. And you have these options. 5.5 XCD, one gigabyte of data, 25 minutes and 25 SMS for one day. 12 XCD, one gigabyte of data, 200 minutes and 200 SMS for three days. 25 XCD, three gigabyte of data, 250 minutes and 250 SMS for seven days. And 95 XCD, 10 gigabyte of data, 1000 minutes and 1000 SMS for 30 days. So now is the question, which one of these operators is better? Is it Digicel? Is it Flow? Well, before I tell you, make sure to subscribe to the channel where I talk about local SIM cards all the time. Now I'm talking about ones in, well, say, Lucia or the place of Caribbean, but I talk about local SIM cards all over the world. And besides local SIM cards, I talk about international SIM cards as well, mobile hotspots and roaming which you provide because it doesn't always have to be super expensive. And it just takes time to do all the research. And yeah, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. And also sign up for my newsletter at phonetovis.com slash newsletter where I will send you an Excel sheet with the best local SIM cards in over. 230 destinations that's why and the best thing is i will send you an updated version every month at the end of the month so yeah why not it's free so sign up as well but for now which operator is the best in saint lucia and in saint lucia if you go with digicel or flow it doesn't matter both of them have very good coverage throughout saint lucia which is not that hard because well, it's a small island nation but it's still good to know that both options are good but what right, if you really care about speeds you might want to consider flow because you can get super fast speeds with them up to 200 megabits per second and with digital you can also get super fast speeds but then it's usually topped at 100 megabits per second which is still fast depending on where you're from you know in some places 100 megabit even 10 megabit per second is like you know you know <laughs> blows your mind but still you know if you really care about speeds flow is a good option otherwise digital and flow they are both good so that's it for saint lucia if you're going to saint lucia make sure to click the like button Did you know a quick quick click and comment down below which operator you want to try are you going with digicel are you going with flow and if you have already been to saint lucia or you are living there and you have tried one of these operators or both because in most cases most locals have the sim cards from both operators comment down below and share your experiences with us so we can all become smarter that's it for today and if you want to learn more about sim cards in the caribbean check out this playlist up there and yeah, that's it for this video. So I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.